Well, I'm starting to cleave, uh, clean up the bandsaw marks off of the uh, cabriolet legs, and I did a pretty lousy job of bandsawing them out smoothly. So there's lots, lots of bumps. I've got the spoke shave set at uh, a rather uh, small cut. But it seems to be working pretty well. We don't like chatter on the tool. And of course going down the sharper curves here is a little more difficult. And then over here, we got to go this direction. Because it's always good to plane downhill. And this is the, the leg with the uh, bark inclusion in it. That's really going to be something to carve. I don't know how it's going to come out. But we'll give it a try. Now the shape of this leg, this is the, uh, the photograph here, and it is fairly sharp up here on the knee and then of course smooths out down here, uh, but it's not round uh, like some of them. So we'll, uh, we'll get to that shortly. And we'll probably do that with a rasp. This is the round bottom spoke shave. Okay. Now we got to go downhill over here. So you get the idea. So I'll be at this a little while. Well, now that I've smoothed it over uh, with the spoke shave, now I'm shaping it. And this is the uh, one practice one that I made before so this is our model so we want to shape it about the same and I'm using a number 50 Nicholson rasp here and the uh, the line is pretty sharp on uh, these it's curved but uh, this line on the back here is uh, is quite sharp so that's what we're going to do it's coming along So now that I've got it uh, smooth and shaped pretty well, well, we'll do some more cleanup on it later, but um, I took a class from Mary May, one of her online carving classes, and she has one on carving a trifid foot. So thanks to Mary May, we have a template here, uh, which came with her class, and that's the same one that I used here for our practice foot and um, what you do is the outside circle here is uh, the sh shape and you carve straight down so you want them to be uh, perpendicular to the bottom uh, this outside line and then you carve from the high point uh, at the top here to this inner line uh, which gives you this slope that, that there is on the foot from here to here is uh, the inner 
part. And then, uh, I don't have a template, but uh, then this is for what they call the socks or uh, a number of other uh, things for it. But uh, I'm going to mark the top here where I want to stop and uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. So we're going to start by roughing this out and making that shape perpendicular to uh, the sides. So what's important in getting this uh, groove in here is uh, having it perpendicular to the bottom and I don't know if you can see it but uh, this is slightly slightly higher than that bottom part so we need to take a little more off up here Let's see if that's better. There we go. So we need to follow that all the way around the, the pattern. Because of the uh, shape here, I had a lot of material. It was way up here to take off and you don't have to carve it all off. Um, I carved it for a little while and then uh, I used my rasp to or round it over here when I get close to the to the line and since we don't like all those rasp marks there and you have to be cleaned up anyway then I finished it by carving and that gets rid of all the, the rough marks and of course later on when this thing is actually uh, completed you know we'll sand it and uh, get it cleaned up but uh, I also could have used once I get down to the shape I could use this this is so gradual I could use a spoke shave to, to clean it up uh, as well but we want to get it on on the pattern line there <laughs> 